In today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your CPU for boosting your FPS and lowering the input delay for the ultimate performance. So make sure hit that subscribe button. Let's dive into the video. Go to my website. Link in description. Click on the download button. Now click on the subscribe to unlock button. Now subscribe my channel to unlock the link. Now as you can see the link is unlocking. Now click on this button and download the FPS boost pack and follow me for settings. There are actually a bunch of settings which you have to play for your CPU guys in order to work the best in Fortnite possible. And this is exactly what we're going to utilize. And trust me, there are some settings which you probably don't even know and about. I'm gonna explain all of them as well as some secret tips to make your CPU perform even better in Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. I want you to click on the main and go under active power profile and make sure that the bits of highest performance one is actually loaded. Most of you guys, the bits and hikes performance one is gonna be the best option. Only on maybe like a low end laptop, you kind of should maybe try out a different but one. But as mentioned, for most of you, really select the bits and one. There are only a few instances where the bits and hikes performance one is actually not the if best one. If your PC one. is maybe overheating, or you're on a lower end laptop, once we're done with we're that, we're gonna click on the options. Go into general, and in the first place, we wanna now, guys, see you now. Refresh interval GUI. This one, you're going to put to 5 seconds, and then straight up under it, you have refresh interval governor. And this one, you're going to put the 5 seconds as the next well. up guys, under options, we're going to select power. And in you know, we have performance mode, where we're going to make sure that change power profile, when engaged is enabled, enable automatic, detection and steam, and also disabled, idle server, what performance mode is engaged, all of these here should be enabled. And once you're now done with you that, you actually have to run Fortnite in the background, and also realistic, scenario where you have all the applications, running in the background, which you use on a day to day base, SO Discord maybe. Spotify and all of them so guys, I know I have actually Fortnite running the background so that I'm going to press F until I can find it and it should be exactly here and guys once Fortnite is actually running we in should the be able to find it in here in this list the Fortnite clan win the 60 for shipping extra we're going to right click on go into CPU pairing we're gonna go under all and make sure it's set to high for most of you guys high is gonna be the best possible option again if you're maybe on a lower and laptop or you experience a lot with of this stutter. one here and go again to normal have to try it out for yourself Put guys. it to high. Hop in game real quick. And check if you feel a difference. The next step guys. We can also find your iron. Or priority. Then go again. Under always. And make sure to put it to high as well. And once we go a little bit more we can down. Find you know induced. Performance mode. And we're going to click onto and it. And click on the. Oh my god. And then we can see disable. Hyper fretting. And what this basically if does. If you disable. Hyper fretting or sent. Is that you disable? all of the virtual course of your CPU, basically forcing your system to use all of the logical ones. So, I'm gonna do this and right then now. you can see guys, that only all of my logical course are utilized for Fortnite right now. All of the virtual ones of my i9 are complete, completely shut off. And this can give so many people such a huge FPS increase. But again, you have to try it out for yourself guys. For me personally, it actually works better on my Risen 7 build by the way. If you feel like none of these here actually help you out guys, you can again go under non and it's going to revert all of these steps. Yeah, here. yeah. I'm gonna recommend you the GR Booster, which you can trade for apps a little with the free. link in description just to make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite, and it's gone automatically. Find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds legacy, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game, which I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also showing you the connection between your PC and the router. And the router and the actual game server so therefore as mentioned make sure you check it out with the link description in. now restart your pc to apply the changes for optimal performance and an fps boost don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video